Well, the album is called Good News for People Who Love Bad News by Modest Mouse, and they are at number four on my fancy playlist, up from six the previous week. Fancy playlist of July 25, 2004. Modest Mouse would float on with that brilliant video they did. I, I compare, As far as genius goes, I compare this video in a way to Sledgehammer by Peter Gabriel, that song, which came out back in 1986. Modest Mouse, now I never heard of Modest Mouse before 2003, and they're like Death Cab for Cutie in a way. Death Cab for Cutie, Cutie came out with this big album that was very commercial, but they were, had about three or four or five albums before they got really big. Such is the case with Modest Mouse. Float On was their most commercial commercially successful single, but they've been around since 1992. They formed in 1992 near Seattle, Washington. Uh, the, the group basically, for the most part, is built around Isaac Brock and uh, Jeremiah Green. Jeremiah Green, the drummer. Isaac Brock, originally from Montana, but he moved to Washington when he was 11 years old. Before he moved to Washington, he was living in hippie communes and churches with his mother and his sister before he moved out to the west coast. But uh, Modest Mouse forming in 1992, they put out their first, an indie band, they put out their first album in 1996. And then this song, this album came out, which got really big for them, Ocean Breeze Salty. Another good song off that album. It was the second single off the album. But this record went on Billboard's Hot 100. It's nice to see a lot of songs. I mean, there are tons of songs, particularly the last 25 years, that did not chart on the top 40, that did not make top 40. Fortunately, this song made it top, made it to the top 40. It debuted on Billboard's Hot 100 at number 70, and it went to number 14. Uh, the single was released on February the 14th, Valentine's Day, 2004. And uh, let's see. One other thing, well, they were, influ they were influenced by Pavement. I remember a video that Pavement did. They played on MTV back in 96. Uh, something about cutting hair. I can't remember the name of it. That was really cool. The Pixies, they were influenced by the Pixies. And, of course, XTC. Remember the song by XTC, Dear God, back in 1987. Woo, man. Some powerful stuff. The Mara Simpleton, I believe, was another one they did in 92. But uh, they picked some good influences. That's the bottom line about a Modest Mouse. Uh, interesting, another interesting thing about this song, oh, for you music majors, this song is in the key of F sharp major. Float on. Song was later covered by Ben Lee from Australia. That this caught my attention because Ben Lee, he had this great song they played on the hit line. Muzak's Top 40 Outlet. Hitline played this song back in 1998 called Nothing Much Happens, sort of an atmospheric record by Ben Lee. And I just like, oh man, Ben Lee, yes, I love that record that he did. But it's the only record I ever heard of by Ben Lee. And such is the case with Modest Mouse, I just completely missed out on their first, I guess, two, three, or four albums. But uh, not on Float On, Float On at number four on my fantasy playlist, July 25th, 2004.